Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and again we're going to have our friend uh, Venom the Duck here help us through this because like I said my phone died after we did our live stream and uh, and it's it's charging enough to where I could probably turn it back on but I'm kind of, I like this setup now. I'm going to do this because it's just easier to record audio and insert these images later so I'm going to take uh, kind of the lazy route tonight because uh, um, it's late, I'm tired, it's past like 3 in the morning and I'm tired and I want to just make these videos so that I have plenty to work with uh, when I'm on bed rest uh, and maybe I have enough energy to come over and edit some of these and get them out to you guys soon. So uh, so hopefully you enjoy these. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about speculation for this movie and, you know, kind of theories. So there's a chance if, I'm, if I end up getting anything right, I could be spoiling stuff. So if you don't want any spoilers or talk about speculation at all, um, you know, feel free to walk away now. You know, I would certainly don't want to ruin anyone's experience of this movie. I'm just trying to make educated guesses here and, and kind of connect some dots. But I could be wrong about all of this stuff. Uh, but it's just, you know, I wanted to make these videos because uh, I just saw a little bit more in some in the trailer when I watched it for like, the 10th time uh, that I didn't hear Andy Serkis cover and I didn't really see any other YouTubers cover. So, uh, so yeah, so I wanted to uh, talk about this. So what we're going to talk about in this episode is uh, if... If I guess Carnage or uh, Cletus and Eddie are pen pals, obviously at the end of the last movie, uh, Eddie and Cletus meet each other, and the whole purpose of that meeting is because Eddie is on the rise. He just exposed, you know, the Life Foundation or whatever, and you know he's getting his career back on track. And Cletus takes an interest in him, a guy who fell from grace and climbed back up, I guess. So he's like, "Hey, uh, bring him. I'll let him interview me." And all those bodies that I, you know, that are buried that you guys haven't found that you think are mine, uh, maybe I'll help this guy help you find them. And so now it's a year and a half later, according to Andy Serkis. So this story takes place, like I said, a year and a half later. And I'm sure Eddie and uh, Cletus aren't talking weekly. You know, I'm sure it's not that often that they're talking. He probably doesn't get that much access to them. Uh, but I saw this scene where you have Woody Harrelson here writing a letter. And it's on like a little square sheet of paper. And I was like, wait, that seems familiar because uh, in this image here, Eddie is holding a little square slash rectangle uh, shaped uh, piece of paper that has writing on it, uh, you know, in the in when he's getting his breakfast made. And it's written in red. And if you go back to uh, this image here, it looks like if I couldn't zoom in enough, but it looks like it could be red as well. So uh, typically, you know, I guess in Cletus's case, he's probably allowed to write letters on like a postcard type thing, but not use envelopes. I'm going to guess he doesn't have that access or privilege. He's probably also not allowed to receive mail in envelopes. Um potentially because you know sometimes you can slip something in an envelope or whatever even though all the mail gets checked but uh, just a single postcard is just really easy you know to transfer in and out uh, without having to check it too much so I was you know maybe I'm putting too much thought into this but that's you know usually what happens um, so I was thinking what if he's you know writing him letters in between the times that Eddie can show up and maybe he's just taunting Eddie in it because it seems like because uh, we have obviously um, you know what's his name Patrick Mulligan here um, and named after Peter Milligan the writer of the comic who created the character uh, this is uh, Stephen Graham who's playing him uh, playing Patrick Mulligan but Patrick Mulligan in the comics becomes Toxin but in this movie he's the officer that is like I guess in charge of the case of Cletus and in the helping liaison Eddie between Cletus and I'm going to guess because he looks pent up and angry all the time uh, that he is probably not getting the results that he wants. You know, this if it's a year and a half after the first movie, he's probably tired of dealing with Eddie because Eddie's probably not getting real information out of Cletus, you know, maybe here and there, as, as shown in this Daily Bugle paper. Um, it says the hidden victims of Cletus Cassidy. Uh, I think when he closed this paper in a few seconds, like I don't have the screenshot of it, but it says the Avengers on the inside. So there's like a little hint at the Avengers. Um, but uh, not only in this scene is the Daily Bugle shown, but in another scene with Eddie at, at his desk, uh, you see the Daily Bugle uh, and it's showing off Cletus Cassidy here. And, uh, and I think that that's what uh, Stephen Graham's role is as Patrick Mulligan is that you can see him walking away from Eddie. He looks a little upset and and the suit wants to come and eat his head off, uh, which I'm going to assume is because the suit might not like Patrick Mulligan. And Patrick Mulligan might be this real dickheadish cop who is just, uh, you know, over Eddie and, and, and over the fact that Eddie isn't producing results fast enough. And that, again, that's just my guess. Um, but if you go back and look at this scene where, you know, uh, Woody goes to smash the spider, once again, you'll see a postcard, uh, essentially, with a couple lines in the middle and a little spot for a stamp on the side. So uh, I'm going to guess, again, that this is 
more of the cards that are being sent to Eddie Brock from the prison. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to show that off. And then again, you have this shot here where Eddie is holding something in his hand and it looks, uh, I don't know, like a drawing, like a map almost. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Is Maybe Cletus drew him a map of you know, how to get to St. Estes or something. And I don't know, these are just theories of mine, um, but I just wanted to show this stuff off and kind of get your thoughts. You know, or do you guys think that's a possibility that they could just be, you know, that could be a way they, you know, keep in touch with each other. And then like that, you know, you see in the trailer when he's like, oh, Eddie, it's nice to see you again. It's been so long. Um, you know, I've missed you. I think that's because they have gone a long time without physically seeing each other in person. But maybe this is the way that, you know, Eddie, you know, after he's getting his breakfast made by the suit and he's, you know, agitated by that and annoyed by it on top of all that, he has work to do and he goes and checks his mail and he sees a letter from a serial killer and he's probably like, oh, my life sucks. I get letters from serial killers and I have this alien that's, uh, you know, keeping me up all night and making breakfast and making noises and, and keeping, we have chickens around so it can eat chickens or whatever the heck it is. <laughs> it's like, it's, it sounds like a really tough life for, uh, for Eddie Brock here. Um, you know, it's not the relationship he thought he was going to get in. Um, so I, I kind of like that. So anyway, these are just my thoughts on this with the pen pal stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And we'll get these out to you guys, you know, after my surgery, I'll try to edit these and post them up for you. So thank you, Venom the Duck, and thank all of you for watching. We will see you in the next video. Peace.